Hello, my friends. It's time to stencil it up. Stencil it up. Hosted by CJ DIY, co-hosted by Krista's Crafty Life, and me. Links to the host and the playlist will be in the description box. For my first DIY, I have this cutting board from Easter, and I want to get these little tacks pins popped up so I can get a nice coat of paint to cover this. Although it's cute, it's not fitting with my theme and I have a really nice stencil that I found at Dollar Tree that I would like to place over this. Okay, I have some Apple Barrel Snow White matte. With my paint dry, I have a stencil from Dollar Tree that I recently found, Farm Fresh. I'm just gonna use a little bit of painter's tape to hold this down so that I can get my black paint stippled on. I've got pure black matte from Folk Art. Okay, some of these areas that kind of got a little bit outside of the stencil, I'm just going to go in and clean them up a little bit, but this is supposed to be rustic, so imperfection is fine. Like these little smudges, that's just perfect. Okay, so now with all of my paint dry, I have um, some scraps of a lemon placemat left from Dollar Tree, and I've clipped out a couple of the lemons, and I think this will look really nice in the middle here. A nice pop of color and I have a bit of Aileen's tacky glue Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these little tacks back in their original spots. So to make an embellishment for the top, I'm using lemon ribbon I found at Dollar Tree. It only has the graphic on one side, so I made like an awareness bow type ribbon and then I secured it with a piece of twine and hot glued that to the top. And I don't show it, but off camera, I did go over the top of this with a bit of Mod Podge just to make sure it was sealed. And I hot glued my bow to the top and that was it. You'll have to let me know what do you think of my Farm Fresh Lemon cutting board. Please go over to CJ DIY and check out her channel. She is so sweet and inspirational, super talented. Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. She makes the most amazing reads, beautiful decor. Please check her out. For this DIY, I have a tassel plaque from Dollar Tree, Shape of the Cloud. It says Dream Big Little One. That's really cute, but I want to change this. I have a stencil from um, I 
this home sweet farm stencil from a chalk couture so what i want to do is instead of home sweet farm um i just i want to make it home sweet home and just reuse this top portion if i can so i have some more of this um white mat snow white mat from apple bear get my um cloud covered and I like the little bead and the tassel that's already on here. So I'm gonna leave those and I'm going to use a yellow. I'm gonna keep with the original theme. My white paint is dry and I have a stencil from Chalk Couture that I'm gonna position so that I can get enough spacing. So um, I have um, some transfer paste in a lemon yellow color. sweet home and I think maybe I'll add just a little yellow around the edges with um, my bright yellow from Apple Barrel. The extra little touch around the edges of yellow was all it needed for me. I'm not going to put this on a bead garland. I'm just going to hang this on my sideboard. I love it. Home sweet home. I love to travel but nothing is better than being comfy cozy in your own bed home sweet home what do you think of this piece So I have this candy jar that used to have a lid, but my son took care of that for me. So with this just base part, I'm gonna use this as a utensil holder. And I have another stencil from Chalk Couture. It says eat well, eat often, eat local. So I'm not gonna use the entire thing. some black transfer paste. Of course, I love the wheat reed. I have this chalkboard birdhouse, uh, the Nicole brand. This is from AC Moore before they went out of business here. And I have stencils from Folk Art. I received these from Plaid. They're mesh and they're sticky back. Got some letters, numbers, and then these beautiful little like um, leaf motifs and like a 
wreath. So I have some white transfer paste. So I'm thinking this one looks really cute, like some leaves that a bird would be standing on. In a tree. So I'm gonna get this positioned on here. So on the front, initially I was going to use the branch on the left and the right side, but once I pulled it off on the left side, it just looked so gorgeous with just that one side done that I just left it. And so for the roof, I wanted to use the piece that had the little heart in the middle and a little bit too much of the transfer paste came through onto the heart. So I had to clean that up with a Q-tip and a bamboo skewer. And once that was all dry, I took a piece of animal ribbon from Dollar Tree and pulled it through the holes in the top of the birdhouse using a bamboo skewer and made just a little bow. And then I moved on to trying to find something to use as the perch for the opening on the front. And I finally found a small piece of a scrap piece of a dowel rod. And so I snipped that and I put that in place for the perch in the front. And my little black birdhouse was finished. And I think it came out just so gorgeous. You'll have to let me know what do you think of it. I have one of these signs from Dollar Tree from fall, the pumpkin cutout, and a couple of flexible stencils from Amazon that I want to, I'm gonna paint this white, and then I'm gonna put my stencils over and then go over these in a blue so that it looks like beautiful tiles. And then I wanna cover this portion with this, Turtle, and then I'll give him a coat of like a beautiful um, deep blue, kind of a turquoisey color, just to make it look more like summer. And I think this will be a really pretty leaner sign. And then I want to come back and put welcome on it. And again, I'm using my painter's tape to help me hold my stencil down while I pounce my paint. And I found these on Amazon. There was a pack of 16. I will link them in the description box. Beautiful. I love the way that looks. Just go ahead and do the same with my second. And for my sea turtle, I gave him a rough coating of some of that snow white paint. I have a third stencil to use for him and I'm using a bit of that aqua to cover him so that he ends up with a beautiful design all over him, not just on his shell. Okay, so the paint is dry on my little turtle and I think I'm gonna outline him in a little black just to make sure he really pops out a bit more. Oh, 
Okay, so I have the stencil letters, but the sticker, the um, poster stickers are bigger, so I'm gonna use these and just spell out welcome. So I'm going to cover this in dishwasher safe Mod Podge to seal my paint and my stickers down. I think I saved the best for last. I think this is my favorite. This looks good as a leaner sign or strung up to use as a welcome to hang on the front door. I just love everything about it. The blues, the turquoise on the turtle, the designs from the stencils, so beautiful. Let me know what do you think of my welcome sign. And here's another look back at my other stencil projects. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. CJ, thanks so much for asking me to co-host along with Krista. The links for the playlist and CJ and Krista will be in the description box. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.